Hello there. You know, today we're going to be talking about how to determine what kind of artistic interpretation you will put on a piece of music as you play. And, you know, it's interesting that there's a whole lot of literature written about music theory. There's a lot of information out there uh, about the history of music, all kinds of forms of musicology, but not that much on artistic interpretation. They kind of treat it like a holy grail and, you know, who knows what, you know, that type of thing. But I'll walk you through a little bit of my methodology. Well, the first thing is that you're not likely to find much in the way of the feel of the piece in the score beyond some very, very cursory words in Italian. That'll kind of hint what's going on. You have to go a little deeper than that. It's almost like, you know, reading a novel and asking yourself, what does it mean? If you think about it. So I'm going to play a little bit of a piece by Ennio Morricone, who's an Italian uh, composer who's considered, I think, the best in the world at what he does. And this is from a movie called The Mission. It's their scene song for the piece uh, for the movie called uh, Gabriel's Oboe. It happens to be played by a friend of mine, Tom Boyd. Here's the piece. We'll talk about it a little bit and I'll play it. It's enough to uh, get a start here. Well, a real good question to ask early on is, is what the heck is the story? I mean, this was written for a movie. Well, this particular piece of music is played when a priest has determined that he's going to go and bring the message of Christ to Indians that are living uh, in the wild, up in the mountains. Uh, going to bring religion to them and many of the priests who have attempted have ended up being murdered and killed by this tribe. So they catch him and they're going to kill him but he takes out his oboe and he plays. So we have a spiritual theme and we also um, have a theme uh, of reaching out to humanity so there's kind of that theme. And so when I approach this piece, I would say that because of these nuances, there must be a certain delicacy to the playing. It's also a very precise piece, so one must bring precision. Beautiful, rich tone and kind of a longing and spirituality to it. Now, how do you take those feelings that you have and turn them into some interpretation of music. Well, you internalize them and uh, see how you feel as you think about those ideas and experience it. So, <clears throat> uh, I would give you some bad interpretations first what I believe are bad. This is a Seidel Symphony Grand Chromatic ALU model, aluminum comb with cut a well frictionless mouthpiece and my bulletini mic. So I'll play along and why don't I do a good one first? That might be more helpful and then we'll get some that I don't think are correct.
Now that one was this. It's very important that that na 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 be very quick. It's not interesting, in my opinion. That's not quite how it was written, by the way. This is Tom's interpretation. It was written. Tom played it differently in the soundtrack, and the composer liked it better. So it's quite important that that happens. It's not so easy to do on a harp, chromatic harmonica. And then, it's like an introduction. There's something coming up. Na 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 na. Now it's really here. Na 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 na. Okay? So you kind of have an introduction and then it starts to really build. So it would be. something else is coming so you feel it. So let's hit the music again. emphasis, where there's not emphasis. Each part must evoke something that's coming, and then when it comes, it has to fulfill. Uh, uh, you could think of it as a story that's developing. Now let me, let me play it in a way that I think would be wrong. This is bad. Pedantic, boring, no dynamic variation, and it won't interest anybody compared to the good.
Well, something to think about. Artistic interpretation. Hope you enjoyed this.